Okay, so I'm going to take the Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper. I just absolutely love this kitty cat and the frog. Um, and I love this side of paper, so I think I'm going to use this side because huh, I just love it. I'm yeah. going to cut this to measure um, eight and a half by five and a half. And while I've got the, this big old trimmer out, this is a retired trimmer. It is the one that I always use, so it's a guillotine. I wish we sold them again. So let's recap this. This piece measures eight and a half by five and a half. And now I'm gonna get the Simply Scored scoring tool. And I'm gonna place it on the five and a half inch side first. And I'm gonna score it at one and a half on both sides. So one and a half and one and a half. And yes, do you want me to show you that? Okay, so Lee asked if you could cut out the um, cauldron with the framelit. So look, there you have it. Same thing with the kitty cat. Where's the kitty cat? Right here. Turn this over. And there is the kitty cat. Lane Swerve there, but that was a great question and I wanted to answer it sooner rather than later. So we'll recap this. On the five and a half inch side, I scored it at one and a half on both sides. Now we're gonna place it on the eight and a half inch side and I'm gonna score it at one and three quarters three and a half, five, and six and three quarters. Okay, so now we're gonna fold on the score lines. So I folded in all the score lines, and now I'm gonna get my scissors. So we have some cutting. So place it on the portrait side, and you're gonna come down here to the end, and you're gonna cut up to the score line on both of these score lines, okay? Then down here on this end, do the exact same thing. So you're keeping it on the portrait side, and you're cutting up to the score line, okay? Now you're gonna turn it on the landscape side and you've got this center piece here, okay? So see if you hold it together like that. So it's this center piece. You're gonna cut up to the score line on both sides of that square. And you gotta turn your paper just right to see that score line. Now on this side, you do the exact same thing. And I will, um, I will post this on my blog tomorrow and I will share this video on YouTube tomorrow. I will edit it some, so I'll try to splice out all the uh, chatter. Okay, here is the most complicated part. And it's not complicated, it just isn't the normal. So take this center piece and fold that under. You don't wanna touch it, you don't wanna cut it, but you wanna cut this square, which is technically kind of a rectangle, you want to cut it at an angle. And of course, now I'm trying to figure out which which way do I cut it? Do I cut it this way or that way? It's this way. Okay. So start at the end here and then go straight across. Okay? You're going to do the exact same thing over here. Okay? You're going to flip it around and do the exact same thing over here. So fold that center piece away so that you don't accidentally trim it or cut it. And then do the same thing over here. Okay, that's what it looks like. Pretty awesome, right? So I'm gonna bring these two sides together and punch. Okay, now let's put our adhesive on here. So where's my tear and tape? 
you want to put adhesive on these four outside edges, okay? Let me make myself some room here. And I'm not going to get crazy with the adhesive. I'm just going to put one strip of the tear and tape on each corner because this will be my sample. I'll be taking pictures of this tomorrow. So how to assemble this, we're gonna bring this up and this and then this down, okay? So let me show you again. So this is the bottom of our box. So we're gonna bring this up and then fold this down and this down. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. So technically, I wouldn't even have to put any adhesive on there right this minute. <laughs> but I want to do one more step. We're going to take this awesome punch and we're going to round the top of our box. I'm so happy I finally figured out how to use this punch. I can't believe that I was pushing on the side trying to make it work. All you got to do is just to push it in the center. Okay, we're done with that. Now let's go ahead and assemble this. I'm just going to start with one side. Well, I want to poke myself. So there's that side. Now, let's do this opposite side. I can only laugh because I attached this side crooked. Oh, yay, the adhesive didn't really stick yet, so yay. There we go. Okay. See? Awesome, right? We have a couple different choices. We have this new, well, they're both new. This was in the annual and this is in the uh, holiday. So this is the glittered organdy, organdy black. Uh, ribbon, which I think is cute. Um, I don't know. Well, let's just try it for a second. Um, I don't, we don't have um, Granny Apple Green or Lemon Lime Twist, so I don't know. We'll see. We, we, I may um, try both ribbons just to see which one I like best. That looks pretty cute. I'm using Memento ink because we are going to use um, Granny Apple Green and our new Basic Black and maybe oh and the dark petal pink but I'm not using my paper because I want to use it for the boxes and the bags so that and then the frog isn't he so cute and um, now I'm gonna stamp trick-or-treat We'll color the frog while that's drying. So I'm gonna take the dark daffodil and color his, whatever that area is called. 
And then I'm gonna take the dark granny apple green And then I'm going to take the light granny apple green. So um, for those of you that are watching this live on Facebook, let me know. Have you bought the blends? Are you using the blends? And don't you love the blends? So I am not going to be using basic black. I'm going to be using only smoky slate. I'll have to use the basic black on something later for you guys. So this is the dark. And this is the light. So I bought, I've been wearing a t-shirt that says home is where my cat is. And it's been really confusing everyone because they're like, you have a dog, you don't have a cat. And I'm like, well, I used to have a cat and it was a $5 t-shirt at Kohl's. So, I mean, $5. <laughs> so every time I wear it, someone's like, um, I thought you had a dog. I'm like, I do. It was just a $5 t-shirt. Okay, so now we're going to get the uh, big shot out and we're going to cut the cat out and um the frog kitty cat first i'm gonna angle it so that it doesn't slide <laughs> you're right that does look like a cat bowl it's a magnetic bowl it helps me keep track i actually need a third one now because um I have one on my other film station and I have one here. It goes in the bowl. And um, yeah, I kind of need another. I don't know if I need to cut it out with the three inch over the two inch circle, the one and three quarter or the two inch. Let's see, let's see how this is gonna work with the, oh, that looks pretty good, right? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna cut this out with the one and three quarter. If things don't fit, I might have to stamp it again. So for now, that's one and three quarters. This is gray granite. Oh yeah, well, we'll see in just a minute. So now I'm gonna take, and I was gonna use Granny Apple Green, but I think this might be Lemon Lime Twist. So I need a circle framelit. Is that the right size? <laughs> you know, I still haven't gone to that store. I will after the wedding. I don't need any distractions right now. I'm already not sure I'm gonna be able to pull everything off by in 39 days <laughs> and now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna use another stamp and I'm gonna stamp those bats I want to stamp them upside down that looks pretty good so now I have three bats. So let's go ahead and I, I like how this is looking, but I don't know about that color yet. If we use the um, the black ribbon. So let's go ahead and add the one and three quarters circle. And then I'm gonna take the little mini dimensionals and add the cat. Blue dot. Okay. 
I like that the frog is looking up at the cat. Now we can add. So what I'm gonna do is add this to the box. I just put adhesive on the bottom. And then, and the reason I didn't add this one already is because I wanna pop that one up. So I'm gonna get my regular uh, dimensionals. And I have one more thing I wanna do. I wanna add some bling. So I need to grab the embellishments and see where I can add something else other than the ribbon, which the ribbon's pretty darn awesome. But we do have those uh, black dots. Hold on. <laughs> you know what you could do, um, Elaine, if you don't celebrate Halloween, all you have to do is just change trick or treat to like happy birthday, get well soon. Like you can eliminate those words and just say thinking of you happy birthday yeah so you can still make this project even if you're not a fan of um, Halloween I always struggle with where to place these things I can get the first two and then the third one I'm just like oh I struggle it's going down there I don't think that this project actually calls for the bat because I was thinking that I was going to put it somewhere on here, but to be honest, it distracts from, it distracts, it takes away instead of adds. So I think we're good, right? I love it. And um, if you leave a comment on today's blog post, which was announcing Chicken Scratch Live number 63, uh, you will also be entered to win. And I'm going to show you the prize. It's a little hodgepodge of stuff. So I love making little little baskets of stuff. And what I did was I went over to the um, storage side of my office and just kind of pulled some stuff out. So I have a little, well, it's not little, a Stampin' Up! ink pen, a chick stand. Let me show you how cool this is. This is like a magnetic, magnet bookmark type thing. So if you want to put it on your catalog it kind of bookmarks it and then this I have a bunch of these they used to be um, a, hand, a hand sanitizer spray but they all dried out because I bought them a long time ago but they are an awesome sprayer so you can fill it with alcohol half alcohol half water and then just spray it and it works I made sure um, I'm, I won't send it with the alcohol in it though because then it could leak so I will pour that out and then I, I'm giving away another one of these fans everyone that has ordered a few has been so excited so I'm going to show you again um, it opens up it could scare you because it pops open just like that okay and then to close it you just wind it back up and put it back in there so I'm giving away this little this little bass or bag of goodies 